All right, here on six and seven, these are much easier trinomials to factor because our leading coefficient is one. So I already know it's going to be x multiplied by x. Now, I need two numbers that multiply to make 10 and add to make seven. Those numbers are five and two, done. So now here, once again, pretty easy setup. Since my leading coefficient is one, I know our first FOIL is going to be x times x. So now I look for two numbers that multiply to make 49 and add to make negative 14. Those numbers are negative 7 and negative 7. So in a condensed format, that is x minus 7 squared. Moving on to number 7, the first issue that I see is that it's not in standard form negative x squared minus 7x plus 30. So now that I have it in standard form, there's a leading coefficient that's negative. I'll factor that out. x squared plus 7x minus 30. So now this trinomial is going to be pretty easy to factor. Since it's x squared first, I know it's x times x for my first terms. And now I'm looking for two numbers that multiply to make negative 30 and add to make 7. Those numbers are positive 10 and negative 3. Now, number 8 is a little different, but it still is the same factoring pattern. I'm going to do the A times C split my B just to show you how this pattern works. So here my coefficient is 1. 1 times 2, we're looking for two numbers that multiply to make 2 and add to make negative three. So those numbers are going to split my B. So now I have A squared, and that's gonna be minus two AB minus one AB plus two B squared. So now I'm going to factor by grouping. A squared minus two AB plus negative one AB plus two B squared. So out of my first group, I can factor out an A, and that leaves A minus 2B. Here, I can factor out a negative B, and that leaves A minus 2B. Uh, my binomial GCF here is A minus 2B, and that leaves A minus B here. So notice it was still A, A, and then minus two minus one, but they just have b's on the end because this term had a b squared. So you could have gone straight from here to here if you see the pattern.